against the wind? What a welcome to the jungle, huh? Yeah, can't say my first day isn't exciting. Hey, the rain has stopped. Ugh, what a mess. Huh? Did you hear that? Oh, you poor thing. What happened? Last fold and fly! Oh, no. Don't worry, Katie. I'll get it. Are you sure, Leo? I'm okay. Let me try. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. Farah and I found a monkey that seems to be hurt. I don't think that's a monkey. Let's check it out on the computer. Stay on the line, Zari. Let's see what animal it is. Oh, it's an Oran Utan. Orang utans are apes, not monkeys. They are the largest tree living mammal in the world. In the Malay language, orang utan means person of the forest. These apes live in the rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo. They build nests high up in the trees to keep away from predators. Orang utans have powerful arms that are longer than their legs and toes, which are as flexible as their fingers. I think the orangutan hurt his arm. Then he's going to need help rebuilding his nest. We'll swing by to help. Ranger out. To the forest, Katie. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! There. Hope you feel a little better now. Sorry, Farah! Thanks for coming to help Odie rebuild his nest. Odie, what a cute name. Hello, Odie. We're here to help. <laughs> Odie's nest needs to be high up in the tree. Jetpack, activate. activate. Let's get more materials for the nest. Keep going, everyone. Watch out below! Yeah. Whoa! We need something to hold the nest together. I might have an idea. Good thinking, Katie. And done. Treetop home already. <laughs> Go on, Odie. See if you like your new home. Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger Rocky! What are you doing here? I was hanging out with tree-swinging animals nearby. What are you up to? We're trying to get Oti up to his nest. No problem. Come on, Oti. Power lift to the top. Hang on tight. should we do now? Junior Rangers, I need to swing off for more tree climbing lessons. Take good care of Odie. Goodbye! We will! Bye. Have fun! <coughs> hmm, that sounds different from the howl earlier. Ranger Joey said that sound likely means Odie is feeling threatened. <gasps> Look! What is that? A leopard! Oh no! It's going after Odie! I think Odie's trying to scare away the leopard! I don't think it's working! I've got 
got an idea. Quick, over there! Everyone, get off! Copy what Odie is doing! Odie, everything's okay now! <laughs> <Wow>! <laughs> Thanks for saving us, Odie! Mission accomplished! I'm glad we helped the Orang Utan rebuild his nest! I've studied the ways of the Orang Utan and figured out a way to get our paper airplane back. You're gonna climb that tall tree? Just watch. Jetpack, activate! <laughs> That's not climbing. Orang Utans can't fly. <laughs> Catch! Come here, plane! Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <coughs> what birds are there? <coughs> Shh, Hero, don't scare them away. Hey, Katie, can you help me get my binoculars? Sure, Leo. Huh? Oh, that's right. Sorry, borrowed it. Oh, uh, what about my jetpack? Also on loan. Huh? How many gadgets did she borrow? Ugh. Ugh. Why did I have to borrow so much? <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh, thank you for helping me with that. Sorry, are you enjoying our gadgets? Monkeys took them! Monkeys took our gadgets? We've got to get them back! I'll look up more information about the monkeys on the computer. Stay on the line, Zari. Let's see what type of monkeys took our gadgets. They're long-tailed macaques. Long-tailed macaques are also known as crab-eating macaques. They are found in mangroves, forests, and even parks in Southeast Asia. They're social animals that usually live in groups or troops of about six to 58 macaques. Each troop is led by a male leader. Macaques spend a lot of time grooming each other, which keeps them healthy and allows them to form closer relationships. When it gets too hot, they like to cool themselves off in the water. Macaques are good swimmers. They've gone into the forest with the gadgets! Don't worry, Zari. We'll be right over to help. Ranger, out. Let's get our gadgets back from the macaques. Mission macaque is underway. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus one. Here, Here we go! go. <laughs> That's not how you use it! Hey! Be careful with that! How do we get your gadgets back? Leave it to us! Jetpack, activate! Huh? Right. I'll just use the grabber. <sighs> How are we going to get our gadgets back without our gadgets? We can try talking to them. Hello there, Mr. Macaque. What's wrong? Bigger smile, Leo. The friendlier you are, the friendlier they'll be. Yeah, that's it. Big smile. <laughs> Hello there. 
Whoa, calm down. I didn't mean any harm. We just want our gadgets back. What's happening? Watch out! Hello, Junior Rangers! What are you doing here? I was bird watching when I heard the commotion. What are you Rangers up to? The macaques won't return our gadgets. We tried to be friendly, but it just made them angrier. Ah, that's my bird. I'll leave you Rangers to it. Good luck! Bye, Ranger Rocky! Bye! Thank you! <sighs> and now, we wait. Watch out! Oh no! <gasps> Great job, hero! That's one jetpack! <laughs> Not again! Jetpack, activate! Neo, I've got this one! Steady! It's okay, macaque. No teeth, no staring, no big movements. Let me help you. Phew, that's all the jetpacks. This needs fixing. I guess they learned their lesson. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got our gadgets back from the long-tailed macaques. Those birds again. Now I can finally go see them. Jetpack, activate. Hey, what gives? Activate. Nearly done activate. fixing Leo's jetpack, Hero. Jetpack. Then I'll fix yours. Come on, activate. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Vervet Monkey. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> Hero, we're having a picnic again. Here are my snacks. So where's yours? Where's your bone? <laughs> Did you find it, Hero? Hey, I thought there were more grapes and apples. Hmm. Oh, hi, Hero. You found your bone. I seem to have lost some food. <laughs> Do you know where it might be? <laughs> what? A monkey? <laughs> oh, hello. Do you want to join us with a picnic? The monkey really seems to like the fruit. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. <coughs> Katie, are you there? We just had a picnic with a little monkey. Hi, Leo. That sounds fun. Can you find more information about this monkey? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch your new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find out about the monkey? Hi, Leo. This monkey is called a vervet monkey. And as you have noticed, vervet monkeys like fruit a lot. They also eat things like leaves and flowers. And occasionally, they eat insects and even birds, eggs, and lizards. Vervet monkeys have cheek pouches, which means they can store food in their cheeks and save it for later. The vervet monkey lives in certain parts of Africa. There, vervet monkeys live in trees. They look for food on the ground during the day, and at night, they sleep in the trees. What's that beeping sound? Oh, it's an alert. Oh, no. It seems that a young vervet monkey was brought into the country recently, and that's against the law. 
I think it's the monkey you found in the garden. Then we should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. Let's go. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. I had a feeling you would be here today. We're taking this young vervet monkey home, Ranger Rocky. We think someone secretly brought it into our country. Good work, Junior Rangers. Vervet monkeys have predators like leopards and snakes, but their biggest threat is perhaps the human. Because vervet monkeys sometimes steal food, some people get rid of them by shooting or poisoning them. Fortunately, vervet monkeys are very agile. They can run, swim, jump, and climb very well. This helps them to escape from their enemies. Vervet monkeys are also very good at warning each other of danger. They live in large groups which are called troops. Vervet monkeys in a troop alert others with alarm calls when they sense predators. They have different alarm calls for different types of predators. Wow, that's really smart. It is, Leo. By the way, male vervet monkeys have bright blue scrotums. The vervet monkey you found doesn't have this yet because it's still young. It really needs to be with its mother and troop. Just remember, vervet monkeys need to drink water daily, so they prefer to live near water. They do not like to live in open areas with no trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a grassy area with only one tree. And on this side is also grass, but there are more trees. And there's also a river. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a grassy area with one tree. And over there is a grassy area with many trees and a river. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go there because vervet monkeys need to drink a lot of water and they live in the trees. Let's go. <laughs> what was that sound? There it is again. <laughs> hey, vervet monkey, where are you going? Leo, that could have been the alarm call Ranger Rocky told us about. Remember? When they sense danger, the vervet monkeys warn each other by making an alarm call. So that's why our vervet monkey ran off. It's trying to hide. Come on, let's join him. Are you okay, Katie? I'm okay, Leo. This hole must be some kind of trap to capture wild animals. How are we going to get out of here? It's too high. Hero, can you help us? I hope there's nothing dangerous out there. Hero, is that you? It's the monkey! They found something to help us climb out. Good work, monkey and hero. You saved us. Now let's get you back home. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the young monkey's home, just look for a troop of vervet monkeys. Not for green peas or rubber duckies, but look for a troop of vervet monkeys. I see. So not for green peas or rubber duckies, but look, look for, for a troop, troop of vervet monkeys. monkeys. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young vervet monkey's home, 
You have to look for a troop of vervet monkeys. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a troop of vervet monkeys. What about this place? Hmm, I see some trees, but there aren't any vervet monkeys. So let's keep looking. What are those? Those are monkeys, but they look different. So they're not vervet monkeys. Let's continue. What can you see here? There's a river and there are trees and those are monkeys. It's a troop of vervet monkeys. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Look, Leo. It's the vervet monkey's mother. We did it. We found the young vervet monkey's home and its troop. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Hooray! We found a young vervet monkey in our garden. We learned that vervet monkeys live in troops and that they warn each other with alarm calls. So we took it home to reunite it with its troop and mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 